wa Kenya musi lalen lale lale wa Kenya musi lale bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano can somebody play a guitar or something like a keyboard and a drum wa Kenya musi lale 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 wa Kenya musi lale bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano 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 bado mapambano vijana musi lale 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 vijana musi lale bado mapambano 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 Bado ma pamba no ma pamba no ma pamba Bado ma pamba rai la o se la le la 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 Can somebody join me in singing rai la o se la le Bado ma pamba no ma pamba no ma pamba no Bado ma pamba no ma pamba no ma pamba no Bado ma pamba kalonzo o se la le Lale lale kalonzo se lale bado mapambano 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 as a gentleman my technical team is looking at me with bad eyes let me stop you there anyway that's <laughs> a gentleman you know there is nothing as dangerous in a country that's a rich opposition team hmm? cut me properly what kills oppositions in countries is lack of funding if you do not have cash there is no way you will ever win from the opposition against a state that is funded from the exchequer and other sources so for you to run a successful opposition you must be heavy pocket wise i want to tell you without fear of contradiction the opposition we are having now is heavily moneyed it's heavily armed with cash is a team of people who have come together and have decided it's electoral justice it's electoral justice is electoral justice and nothing else in this republic of kenya why am i saying these sentiments from the word go i have always been convinced that azmio is not a coalition to push as you think i have always believed in that even when my supporters saw that rail loading has died politically i kept on my faith that a time is coming and the time is now i remember very well after the court case i don't want to recall but let me remind you after in fact not even after the court case i have those screenshots after immediately the election was announced people abused me on the comment section kaka you lied to us kaka you've been lying to us we are quitting this channel you have been propelling propaganda to us you have been feeding us lies but i'm a happy man because i can stand here today to remind you that i meant what i was telling you I could tell you that it doesn't matter how long it takes but one time one day one minute there will be dawn and the dawn is now the azmio team is awake than any other time and they are heavily monit a dangerous self financed opposition is a dangerous opposition in any government you will never compromise them you will never negotiate them because they have funds now 
Somebody is still asking me, Kaka, what are you really saying? Someone, someone is asking me, Kaka, okay, what are you trying to tell us in this video? This is my point. That yes, the Raila Odinga as my team, because Raila is the flag bearer. It's what Kenyans have been yearning for. It's something that Kenyans have been wanted from the, from the first day of the campaign. This is the time. And you know, I have seen how, how this team is gaining momentum each and every day as we wake up. As Mio is gaining momentum, as Kenya, Kwanza, as Kenya Kwanza loses weight. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta, I said I will call him the president. And I all know but an explanation why I cannot call him the former president. President Uhuru Kenyatta, President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, today, carried his entire cabinet, fearless men like Fred Matiangi, and the rest to eulogize and give plans on the way forward as far as Professor George Mawas Fenra is concerned. And I want to pick one statement from the president. The president eulogized Magoa, but towards the finish, Towards, hey, is, is that really English? Or I'm assassinating English on camera. You know. Yeah. Let me resurrect it. I am saying. As Uru was winding up his speech. He gave a signal to Kenyans. And this is the signal we have been waiting for. And you know. Since Uru Kenyatta left office. He has been working outside Kenya. In uniting other countries. In uniting other fighting countries. And today was his first political speech in public. I want to tell you those simple statements have a lot of weight politically. And Ruto must be a worried man. From the sentiments, Ruto must begin to be a worried man. Raila Odinga is in Nigeria, but they have not told you Baba is in Nigeria, on an official duty to go and address people on leadership. So that is what Baba is known for. And I want to say this before I quote what the president said. Of course, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Magoa was a man of integrity. If you look at all cabinet secretaries, I'm also eulogizing Magua. Magua was a man who stood neutral. As the political waves were passing, Magua stood ground. Neutral. I remember one time when he came to Kisi for fundraise. And um, he categorically said that he's not a politician, his work is a public servant and he has nothing to do with politics. I loved that so much. So Magoa first was a man of integrity. And if Professor Magoa was a man of integrity, we demand as citizens of this country who believe in integrity. I'm going to explain this term integrity, why I am referring the President Uhuru Kenyatta team as integrity. If Professor George Mahoa was a man of integrity, then we demand as citizens of this country, he should be buried with people of integrity. We have no apologies to make. Professor Mahoa was not a politician. Professor Mahoa was a dedicated public servant. And in that regard, we demand that he be buried with people of integrity.
The Kenya Kwanza government lacks integrity. And I have no apologies to make. Why? I have told you this always. The people in that cabinet, almost all of them are tainted with court cases, corruption and murder cases. They, are, they don't qualify to be men and women of integrity. They do not qualify. That is why I will never recognize them as people of integrity. They don't deserve this noble term, integrity. They lack it. Look at them. Go to each and everyone's profile. They are tainted men and women. Now, in his final remarks, this is what Uru Kenyatta said. Vijana musilale, lale lale, vijana musilale. Pado ma pambano, ma pambano, ma pambano. This is what Uru Kenyatta had to say. I want you to, to listen. I want you to look at this statement from a third political eye. It makes a lot of sense. Don't worry about these people. So my next question is, who are these people? Do not, don't worry about these people. Who are these people? I want to explain to you. Who are making noise? Which noise? People who have nothing else to do will always make noise. Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. <coughs> we will mind our business. Watch and Rudie. This is President Uhuru Kenyatta. Don't worry about these people who are making noise. People who have nothing else to do will always make noise. That is life. We'll mind our business. Uhuru Kenya, President Uhuru Kenyatta, 31st January 2023. Now, I want to interpret that statement for you in simple terms. Without hiding anything. Don't worry about this. Who are these people? The Kenya Kwanza Gap. And specifically, Mr. Zakayo. Specifically, the President Uru Kenyatta is addressing Moto Shauzuru, Ushuru, Zakayo himself. Who are making, which noise? The noise they are making is, oh, Uhuru is derailing our development. Hata kama wako kwa serikali. Oh, Raila Odinga and Yobada na nila kupandisha bei ya unga. Hiyo ndiyo kelele. Oh, tumeshindo kurudisha mafuta chini kwa sababu Uhuru ndiye katel. Oh, sasa wameanza kusponza maandamano ndiyo wasilipe tax. Hata katiba ina allow them not to pay tax on inherited property. It's constitutional. Ho, oh, sijui tu waliwacha serikali empty. Ho, oh, sijui ni nini. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the noise. Uru is referring to. So, Uru is telling Kenya Kwanza under the leadership of Zakayo that you know you have nothing to do. That's why you have all the time. By the way, Ni mwona Zakayo anataka kuatend hata mkutano ya kuanzisha cho. Zakayo is attending hata meeting ya kukomission kunua podium ya kanisa. He wants to be there. Unajua? You can see and tell the people who are idol. It's very clear. Mutu wako idol, he wants to be everywhere. Hana kazi ya kufanya. People who are busy in office like me have no time out there. What work of busy na kazi? Honor President Uhuru. Very busy na kazi. Hata say I'm addressing mkutano ya DRC. Very busy. Office working. Hana time ya kutembea. Oh, kila jumapili si juini. Wapi? Every Monday is juini. Wapi? Nation walendi kaenda na wakasema a prayer there, a project there. <laughs> I loved this. A prayer there, a project there. Yani, Anarusha ka project, akirusha ka maombi. You know? Yani, Mr. Zakayo, or, okay, by the way, he's a doctor. Dr. Zakayo, anateka ku attend each and every meeting. Hata mkami ya MCA, bora kafiliyete na kanyakuanza. He wants to attend that. Si utachoka ndu yangu. 
si utachoka pumzikeni pumzika just delegate pumzika rais anafaa kwenda kwa very important matters but because you have nothing to do that is what you are supposed to do so ladies and gentlemen wacha niseme hivi nikimaliza mambo bado mambo bado god bless you asante sana